The overall goal of this microfluidic experimental setup is to enable the long-term observation of individual bacterial cells under constant, highly controlled environmental conditions. This method can help answer key questions in the bacterial physiology field, such as, what are the long-term response patterns of individual cells to stress? Or, how does a heterogeneous phenotype across a population vary with time? The main advantage of this technique is that we can observe individual cell lineages for tens or even hundreds of generations under constant, uniform, and highly controlled environmental conditions. After preparing PDMS polymer according to the text protocol, place a silicon master on a piece of unbroken aluminum foil in a polystyrene petri dish. Pour the degassed PDMS mixture over the master to a depth of approximately 5 millimeters. Then degas the dish for at least 10 minutes. Cure the PDMS in an oven at 60 degrees Celsius for at least 1 hour and cool it to room temperature. Then remove the aluminum foil containing the master and cured PDMS from the plate. Carefully score and peel off the aluminum foil from the back of the master. Then carefully peel the PDMS from the master. As a wafer typically includes several microfluidic devices with slightly different dimensions, Use a clean, sharp scalpel to cut a single device to the appropriate size. 